Hello, this is Y'all Weasel. Let's play Quest for Glory 2. In the last episode, I did nothing but wander around this prison. <laughs> nothing. It was truly, truly pathetic. But, even though they took away pretty much everything, I have nothing. The w <laughs> Nothing, the description is nothing. The one thing they didn't take away, which is very crucial, is my time machine. And thanks to the time machine, I am now back to the moment right after killing the water elemental. Totally had nothing to do with the fact that I actually keep all my saves around like any sensible person would do. Definitely a time machine. Look at how few points I lost. <laughs> I had barely gained any points because I basically didn't do any of the things I was supposed to do after killing the water elemental. First things first, if I go to the guild hall, it is good for Simba to watch us practice. He will need to learn soon enough. Well, instead, I'm just going to give you Soulforge back. I think that due to some confusion in when I was saving and loading and what have you, I didn't actually give Soulforge back before, but now I have. So surely, surely the Warriors Guild won't think I'm a warrior anymore. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> Don't want them, you know, trying to make me a warrior. The other thing is I think if I go here, we are again in your de debt. Your name will be told in the tales of the kata as long as there are kata to tell them. We kata t tried to think of some way to say how much we were all of you. <laughs> Please accept this gift of a sapphire pin. You mean the one you were trying to sell me for 800 whatevers. Uh, may it do you good. Oh, looks like I get a sapphire pin. You take the sapphire pin and place it through your lapel. I honestly have no idea how I missed this before. You literally just have to walk into this plaza and this event will happen. The shape of the pin stirs an old memory. You recall how you used to practice with such, such simple pins when first learning how to pick locks, like the locks on a jail cell, for example. You decide not to mention to the, this to the <clears throat> honest merchant. Okay, so that was obviously vitally important. Good thing I never noticed that before. How did I even miss that? Ugh. I think all of the important things that I need to do can be done here. The next thing I can do... I've seen many men in my time, and you're certainly one of them. So... This is what confused me in the last game, too, so I really should have known to do it in this game, but... Give sign. You place your thumb upon your nose with the I was about to actually do it in the real world. With your hand held perpendicular to the face and the fingers outspread. You then wiggle your fingers while focusing your eyes on the thumb and patting your belly with the other hand. We don't show any of that here in order not to embarrass those people with tender sensibilities. So you are a jackal among the goats then. I am very fond of those of the profession. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Come back tomorrow evening or so if you are interested in doing for me a little favor. It could be to our mutual benefit. And do come fully equipped. No one of your profession should travel without the proper tool and a little oil to make the insertion easier. <laughs> so, she now knows that I'm a thief. I don't know what job she'll give me. I've only gone this far. But that give sign is giving the thief sign. Which you would never freaking know because nothing tells you to do that. Ugh. Oh well. I just remembered that from last game. As being the confusion there. Now, let's see. The other thing that we can do... Anybody remember which of these three halls? No, it's that's the thing. It was none of these three halls. It was this hall. Woo, glad I remembered that. So, the other thing we can do is talk to Aziza at a time other than when she finally calls for us herself. And that actually does good things. So I'm going to go have a chat with Aziza. And, well, we'll see what good things happen. So look at this, we're making tons of progress back in time. I'm actually going to quickly save just as progress. There we go. You totally didn't see the, uh, the secret world of how I did the time machine by way of that uh, save menu there. As if anybody was guessing. Wow, how the heck did he do that? Urgh, it's not like this is a game with saves. There's too much going on right now for you to take out the map, it said, because some guy was walking past? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much happening. There's a guy walking by. Woo! <laughs> Excitement abounds. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Okie dokie. Yes, it's Walking Through Halls Simulator 2014! All the excitement of walking through halls. Uh, I do want to turn here. And this is, I believe, where Aziza resides. There we go. So I'm gonna save this as Aziza. Now, if you recall, when I knocked on this door before, it says, who is it that seeks to enter? That's easy, I know who I am. Then who is it that sent you here? No one sent me, but I just tried every name until I got one that worked. So Keep On Laughing is the magic shop owner. It makes sense that he would know the spell, whatever the heck this person is, uh, that he would know Aziza. What is the element most appropriate to the owner of the magic shop? I think air is the one that worked. He does sort of float on air. My first, is, my first is the first, my second the last, this is her name, it's Aziza, and this is, you know, her, the first letter is the first letter of the alphabet, etc, etc, it's not that much of a riddle. You may enter freely into my home, y'all weasel, after lying to you. Come in, sit down, and be welcome. Now, I haven't actually seen the scene, the scene, the scene with Aziza. Uh, I was trying to get to the stairs. <laughs> it is actually quite a drop, you would do better to use the steps. I'm trying to use the steps. I haven't actually seen the scene, the scene, the scene with Aziza. Shall we share tea? Yes. Okay. Poof! Tea! The tea is cool. Cool. And <laughs> Tea isn't supposed to be cool. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we have shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Okay, I need to ask a question. Okay, now I have to think about what it is that has and hasn't been done. In the desert, I've gotten the griffin's feather. I have seen what's-his-face at the pond. I don't understand the tree woman yet, so I can ask about that. I've taken care of all four uh, elementals, and I know that I will find that my steed is the emir, the emir whoever in, you know, a few days' time, so I don't need to ask about that. I guess I could ask about Rasir in general. Obviously, I should ask about the tree. Rasir was like a twin to Shapir until a year ago this month. The Emir Ar Aris, who we know where he is, was overthrown and disappeared. His brother now sits upon the throne. There is a darkness over the city through which I cannot see with all my magic. Dun dun dun. Ask about tree. That is indeed a sad tale. Let me show you of that which we speak. Let me set it to normal animation speed first. I will tell you of a time long ago when women wore veils and were but wives and chattel to men. Yeah, yeah, a time that's now in certain parts of the world. Oh, politics with Yaweasel. Her father tried to dissuade her, saying that this was no task for a woman of what was no task for a woman of her gentleness and sensitivity. She would go about her duties quietly, but each evening she would tell him again that she wished to become a healer. Okay, she wished to become a healer. At last her father gave in, and she was trained in the art of healing, despite the jeers and condensation of the male's... Con condescension! Condensation! The <clears throat> condensation of the male students and teachers. She, God, that's horrible. She became a healer and removed her veil forever. Because the veil, it really just means you're not a healer. She soon discovered that life was not easy for a woman healer. Many men distrusted her skills and refused to call upon her. Some men called upon her only to try to take advantage of her beauty. One day, a man came to her and told the tale of his brother dying in the desert. She did not quite trust this manner of looking... this... this manner... trust his manner of looking at her, why can't I read? But she could not refuse to aid one who might need it. S she followed him out of the city and into the desert. She was led to an encampment of ragged tents. She soon learned to her sorrow that the tale of the brother was but a lie. These were brigands, and what they did to, with her, I shall not say. It was bad. She tried to escape him the next day and ran to the mountains to hide. They were swift to follow. They had nearly recaptured her when she called aloud for help. A, ge a genie heard her cry and transformed her into a tree, because that's helpful! <laughs> Genies are basically jerks. You could be the one to give her back her soul and free her heart from wood. I could? <laughs> 
You will try this hero, will you not? Of course I will, I'm a hero! There are three things that you must give her to save her soul. A gift of kindness, a gift of magic, and a gift of love. The gift of kindness is simple. It is only what you would give to someone who has been in the desert far too long. Water, we've already given that. You must then tell her about yourself, remind her what it is to be human. Your words are as important as the gift, for they give meaning to the act. So I guess I just need to tell her about myself? Uh, the gift of magic is the gift of sacrifice. The gift must be something you gain through hardship and from aiding others. It must also be something from which a plant can gain strength. Like the earth elemental? Tell her then how you got the gift and why. You will be reminding her of why she became a healer. The last gift again is simple, a mere gesture of affection. Remind her that there are still people in the world who care about others. I think that's the hug I've already given her. There's only one thing you need to say to her now, to remind her who she is. Her name is Julinar, Flower of the Pomegranate. Julinar. Remember that? It's like July, but with an anar at the end. When you have done this, your part in her tale will be complete. Julinar will not be able to walk this land as a human woman until another frees her with the power of true love. Okay, I guess I can't love her, but you can at least free her spirit by giving her these gifts. You will find her within a day's ride to the east, at the base of the mountains. May you heal the healer, Yaweasel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> heal the healer. That, that... Okay, I don't know if I can do that. I might have to practice that one off camera because I'm really not sure about a lot of those steps. Uh, anything else I can ask her? Ask about... Let's see what happens if I ask about the Emir. The Emir Arus was a foolish man who ruled more with his heart than, with, than his head. There was magic involved in his disappearance. Since he has been gone, the city of Rasir has fallen into dark times, and many have fled the new tyranny. Hmm... Ask about... Can I ask about my Saurus? If you please, I would rather talk of something else, because that's vitally important to the game and will come up later. Can I ask about Keepon? Keepon's magical abilities are great, but his style is much too childish. Still, if you must purchase his sort of toy magic, his shop is the place to visit. She doesn't really, uh, appreciate him very much. How about, uh... What's... what's the... Apothecary's name? Ask about Harik, that's it. Oh, she doesn't know squat about Harik, I guess. I guess it's good I didn't suggest that Harik had sent me here. Ask about me! What? You will not need to use the word Yaweasel in this game, but it's my name! Ask about future? Ask about me. Okay, goodbye then. It has been a pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps we shall share tea again sometime. I know we shall! It's part of the plot of the game. And then I just vanished from the room, okay. Okay, that was all very strange. <laughs> uh, okay, well then, next time I guess we're gonna try to free the tree from the spell or something? Nah. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like below. Cheers! From Yaweasel.